Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about G.I. Joe classified Target exclusive album Kibby Breaker with the Ram Cycle. Uh, I've been meant to do this video, but I'm super excited to talk about it now because I have a few that I can use for photos and it's going to be a good old time. So let's get to talking about it. Let's talk about the figure first. Here we are with Alvin Kibby, a.k.a. Breaker. Uh, he has your standard Joe body. I have no issues with any of this. Uh, the vest is actually really nice, but it does hinder articulation in certain areas, which is a bit of a bummer, especially if you want to put him on the bike. But the way they've designed him to allow that, to him to put him on the bike, basically, is pretty cool. But this vest kills all ab crunch. It cannot be said enough. Like, all ab crunch is done for that. So... You won't get it. But we do have our Jake Gyllenhaal face, which is wild because it's like I opened it up and I'm like, this definitely looks like a bearded Jake Gyllenhaal. Right. <laughs> you got the slick back head. You got the, you know, but articulation wise, we get our nice G.I. Joe articulation. We can look all the way up. He can't look down too far because his beard is going to be in the way. We can tilt a little side to side because our neck gets that little bit of extra movement. We have our arms, which can lift up and hit the T pose get that standard joe articulation we have bicep swivel we do have a butterfly joint that goes forwards and backwards but going forward you're going to get stuck here with our vest getting in the way got to be pretty careful for that our arms are double jointed as you can see here they left room for the both the muscle definition and the arms which is pretty cool we have a horizontal peg joint on the right and on the left we have a vertical pin joint for our trigger as far as the legs, we have the drop down leg technique, right? We can go upward. And I advise a little bit of shock oil in this area because the green joints are tight, very, very tight. And you want to loosen those up a bit in case you're going to keep putting them on the bike. But as you can see, we can lift up pretty well. We have a nice double joint. We have boot swivel and we have the super generous ankle pivot, which will allow us to kick Cobra scum in the first. Sorry, I went G.I. Joe PSA there. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, even in our waist area, our rotation on the ab crunch is actually really, really nice. But you won't get that full forward crunch because the vest pouches will be in the way. Um, I forgot what this is called on the vest. But these are cool. You got to have your 90s pouches, right? You want to keep it 90s tastic with the Joe stuff sometimes. Even if it does look cool, updated, and tactical. I wonder where they're getting their references from. Are they actually hitting true military like references? Or are they hitting it for some futuristic look from like movies? I'm very curious about that, right? So here we are, looking pretty cool, looking very simple. And it's just one of those things where it just it looks pretty good on its own. But then you get the cool old Ram cycle, right? Our Ram cycle is pretty nice. Um I think they've pretty much taken the old Joe bike and made it just as good. Gave it a, a the window here. They've added the the star, the MG 1027. Oh, 1027, just like the Pulse thing. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not sure what that stands for, but it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is like where you have your tool set or maintenance kit, because that's why that would be there. And on here it says instrument cover. So I don't know much about military bikes, but this does look really cool. You have more Joe symbols. And this kind of looks, this is blue. It looks sort of like a castle. Ooh, let's fix that focus. Sorry about that. This quarter looks like a rook. 36, 36. I thought it said 3G, but it's 36. We have our American flag. So yeah, this is pretty cool. As you can see with our rotation here in the bikes, when you go left and right, the handlebars do as well too. So you'll have that. Our handlebars are on a ball joint. So even if you want to remove these, recolor them and repaint them, you'll be fine. We'll have our speedometer and RPM. We have our seat cover. We have the pegs to peg our feet in. And on this side, we have for the extra accessories. And here, we have our kickstand. Again, this is all really cool. And I'm pretty sure you've seen 11 million other people already review this, so it don't matter. But I really, really enjoy this. And I like that the bike on its own is really cool. But then you get an add-on attachment. So this is going to be like an all-in quick video, which is pretty cool. So let's talk about the accessories for the bike and then we'll talk about Kibby's helmet, right? So here you have two pieces that you can slap together for a weapon storage sidecar. It has a wheel that moves too. And as you can see, they're put together pretty nicely. These peg right into the side and can peg out as well. So even if you want to, like, let's say you want to pull the kickstand up because you have the sidecar on for munitions. There we go. 
looking really cool. And you can wheel them across, looking really nice. But what's crazy about it is, right? Let's say we take it off. He also does come with one weapon. And just like with Roblox, you will actually get a Gatling gun. It's painted in all black. Mine's is a little warped because I was having a little too much fun. But you place it right inside. Do 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 do. And then, boom, right? So let's say you store it on the side. Now you have a Gatling gun that can shoot at your enemies, which are ahead of you. It's going to suck if somebody's behind you. So you might have to break and then get behind them and let give them some lead. But the point is, you can get them on there. <laughs> so that's pretty cool to have, right? But let's talk about him on the bike very quickly. Let's get him into a position where he can ride the bike properly. We're going to do our drop down. We're going to do our knees from the top. This is an important factor, I think, that people should know. When you're like doing vehicle stuff, knees should always bend from the top first, right? Let's get our arms straight. Now, as you can see, he actually crunches really well. They left enough room so that way he can actually crunch very well in the front. But let's position him properly, right? Let's do this all on camera in case anybody needs any help. Because I'm like the last person to the review this guy. So like I said, it's not like you'll <laughs> you'll see this. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that. But let's get his hands on there. Right? And because of our ball joints, there's a lot of movement there. And I'm in a tough camera position in case you didn't know. So that way it's, it's a little weird for me because I'm like trying to watch my camera not go out of focus, but also focus my actual eyes on fixing these hands. <laughs> these hands. So coconut oil, man, you failed me again on these cold of days and I need you to keep me warm. You also make my hands too slippery. <laughs> so here we are buzzing the ill willy. This is wrong, but we're going to get these feet on. We're going to peg it in. And this is where my excitement kicks in because he looks real. I, I say this all the time, but he actually does look really good on the bike because you can actually get into a nice position with Breaker. Despite the fact that he has no real ab crunch, Breaker does fit and sit on the bike really well. And then even if you wanted to do a actual willy position, let's say you wanted to fix these legs, pick it up just a little bit. He sits and looks really well doing a willy as well. See? So let's say you had your bike here and you actually popped a wheelie with this, you actually would look really good with a breaker on there. See what I mean? So despite, you know, I think that this is well engineered. I think that this was really well done. And most of all, like it, it does look really good. So there's a lot of engineering as well as classic look into this. And I love everything about it. But then again, I'm a big Joe fan because I read the IDW stuff. I'm actually in the middle of rereading the Marvel comic stuff, which... Honestly, they did so good with that. It's so simple and cool. And then we have our helmet here, which you can pop right on. And look, let's, let's take a look. So you can have your protective helmet. Well, I like the visors, two-toned. There's a green, there's a purple. I didn't realize that until like just now. I've been looking at them for quite some time. This looks really, really good. And this reminds me that if he can look this cool with this, on there i can imagine that i hope that we get uh, a rip cord because barbecue rip cord breaker and roblox were a team that went into cobra island back in the marvel comics continuity right and so back in the day they went to cobra island to like try to prevent cobra island from happening they were a group of joes who tried to prevent all of that and it's really cool because the marvel comic stuff i don't think it gets enough love for setting up some of the best and very simple G.I. Joe stories. Like, I know it was meant to sell toys, but man, they did their thing on that stuff. So, look how cool this looks. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to bust out some other Joes so we can see what other Joes look like on the bike as well, too, compared to the Cobra Coil. And then we'll jump into size comparisons. So, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick putting on different characters. So we have one uh, ram cycle there. We have another one here. So Breaker can look cool in the background, right? So we know Flint is around the same size as Breaker, but we just want to show a quick look of him 
on Ramsoggle. And yes, I did take his uh, vest off. I was trying out cool new combinations. So yeah, I just want to test him out because you know those knee pads are going to get in the way. And let's see how he looks on the cycle. We're only going to put one hand on because I just don't want to go through this every time with the handlebars. <laughs> like they're cool and all, but this coconut oil is killing me right now. It was it was a bad choice to like do this at the same time. So I wanted to be, you know, have some hydrated skin, but not at the cost of constantly slipping. <laughs> so let's get these legs out. And with our vest off, we actually get a nice bit of movement here from, from your boy Flint. Let's get our head. So yeah, we can actually see that he looks really good on the cycle as well. Now we're gonna try a bigger character. We're gonna try Gun Ho. So let's bring over Gun Ho. Doo, doo, doo. I, need a, I need to get a, I would love to get a shipwreck. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but I want a shipwreck. Like, I just want some of the cartoon stuff to mix in with the Marvel comic stuff. And then I want a stalker. Like, it sucks that we have not gotten a stalker yet. Like, I would love stalker. Because imagine stalker, like, you got the Ram Cycle leading the team of Joes. Like, really, like, whooping behind. So, here is Gun Ho on a Ram Cycle. And he might be a little bit too big. But I think that it still works. Because even with the look of it, it looks like the fit is still there. Drop this hat. Because of the way Joe's are engineered articulation-wise, I think he can still fit and look really good. He'll just be a bigger guy on the bike, but it looks really good. Now, what we're going to do is, because I've already had this on. She's been on display for a while. Here is Lady J on the ramp cycle. And let me tell you, I love this look. Like, her belt just gets in the way, but absolutely adore this look. A1. A1 fun, for real. This is always good. Now... Real quick, the ram cycle is a lot smaller than the coil, but let's get a nice good comparison there where the coil seat is to the ram cycle, right? And as you can see, if I put it in front or behind, you'll see the difference, right? So the coil is a sleeker, longer, more treacherous bike where the ram cycle is indeed more practical. So we can, we can honestly say like the Joe stuff leans into more realistic look while the coil basically is like the future technology, secret Cobra stuff, right? It is really fun, for real. This has been fantastic and fun. But we're going to jump to the last, the actual size comparison with other lines. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, size comparison time. So let's make it fun. Let's going to compare some Joes, some other lines, and then, you know, the usual. So here we are with a Commando Snake Eyes, right? And you can see the vests are different. Even the slightly bigger boots and things like that. But size-wise, I constantly say this. I do love that we keep getting different types of body sizes. I love it that nobody's the same size in G.I. Joe. Nobody. Nobody. Not exactly the same size. Here we are with Barbecue. Uh, I got to fix his feet. But even Barbecue is a little bit bigger. A little bit bulkier. Shares some parts with Destro. So I'm okay with that. I really am. Because I just like how fun this is. And I got to review Barbecue as well. Here we are. G.I. Joe Flint making an appearance racked up looking real cool as you can see he's even a little bit bigger than break uh i was about to call him breaker oh yeah breaker <laughs> here we are with gun ho as you saw earlier right so with gun ho we know he gun ho definitely has the bigger body i gotta fix that so there we go so now we know where he stands size wise next uh oh who can we compare oh let's actually do a movie scarlet i actually like the way she looks so here we are with Movie Scarlet being a little bit smaller. And now we can compare with some Cobra. So with Cobra, here we are with Firefly. Next up, we have Destro. And as you can see, nice sizes, things like that. Here we go. Ooh, Zartan, this is a good one. So now we can compare with Zartan. Let's pick Zartan's head up. Ooh, there we go. Then we will do... Oh, let's move on to stuff like Lightning Collection. So here we are with a White Ranger. Whose legs I had to make it wobble wobble. 
<laughs> we have an articulated. Oh, see, still fell. We have an articulated icons ninja. Right. Then we have a Marvel Legends Bucky cap. Let's get our feet set. And then we also have a Mezco Gomez. As you can see, the classified line actually works out pretty well with most lines, even as a six inch line. And I do like the fact that, again, everyone's different heights, so you get different things. Last but not least, I always want to include my boy, SH Figure Arts, Kamen Rider Cougar, who's a little bit on the smaller side, but who's here to judge, right? So, we have covered just about everything I can think of in this case. Also, just in case you didn't know, he does not come with any weapons other than the Gatling gun, but you can give him other Joe weapons or Mezco weapons because they're compatible with that because they usually have trigger hands for all their hands. Uh, this has been super duper fun. I mean, as usual, thank you guys for coming, watching this video through, looking at the cats in the background. Thank you so much, as always. In the comments, tell me all the cool stuff that you liked about the video. Tell me that you had a good day. Uh, let me know just how things are. M my wife is going to see it. She's always seeing everything because she's the Batman. But most importantly, guys, as always, please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.